So the big word in security management these days is RBAC, R-B-A-C, Role-Based Access Control. The, the basic idea is you have a bunch of top-level roles that represent job tasks. You put users into those roles and a miracle occurs under the hood and they get all the permissions they need to do their job. Well, folks will often ask, well, that, that just sounds like the same user group permission scheme we've used pretty much forever in Windows. For example, here in Active Directory, I might open up a global sales group and then add some people to it. So I've just added Don J to the sales users global domain group. So how is that not role-based access control? I, I can still drop down to an individual file. I can add a domain local group. Let's see if I have one here. I can assign permissions to that domain local group. Let's just keep it with read. And then all I have to do is go back into Active Directory, make sure that that domain local group, which is here, contains the domain global group where my users are. So if that domain global group represents a role, say sales users, then whatever local groups it's a member of, it'll pick up the permissions of those local groups. Well, that is sort of the idea of role-based access control. It's got a couple of problems though. One, role-based access control also includes the idea of separation of duties. So it means that while an administrator would own the technical responsibility for making sure that the right permissions were assigned to this local group, a domain administrator would not have the ability to modify the membership of the role someone else would do that, someone in HR. In other words, someone in the company who's deciding who is allowed to do these job tasks of a sales user. So that's one reason why this isn't true RBAC. Another reason is that once you start to grow beyond multiple domains and multiple forests, this can get out of control really, really quickly, trying to manage it exclusively using these native things. And look, Microsoft knows that this is the case. Back in the Server 2003 timeframe, they created a product called Authorization Manager to create role-based access control. Now that's, that's kind of a developer-centric tool. It's, it's something that developers would use to create role-based enabled applications, and it doesn't really apply to the broader operating system or, or server-level stuff, but even applications like Exchange Server implement their own roles in order to create this sort of role-based model. So, in a very, very tiny environment, you could probably use the built-in stuff. The key is to remember that your roles do not represent necessarily sets of permissions. They represent a job task. And, and here's the difference. We are so used to thinking of our job tasks in terms of how we get them done that sometimes it can make thinking about our back a little bit difficult. For example, we know that in order to get such and such a job done, a salesperson is going to have to go in and update these files. And so we think of the job task as being able to update those files. No, but that isn't really the case. The job task would be something like creating new customer records or updating existing customer records. And then the underlying permissions might include those files that, that they need to actually do that. Or it, it might include databases or access to a SharePoint site how they get the job done, what resources they have to touch, isn't the job. And RBAC is also about separating those. You know you get into the situation where the new guy comes in and, and someone says, just give him the same permissions as the old guy. Well, okay, well, what permissions would those be? And the reason we're stuck like that is because upper level management doesn't know what permissions they, the guy needs. They just know what job he needs to do. And that's the real beauty of RBAC, is if you can separate things out, so that management can put people into things that they recognize as job tasks and then we administrators can make sure that those roles have got the right permissions well then we've really created a better security system all over